uh, before we go to top boxing promoter Frank Warner is about to join us. Spencer, what what do you expect um, the next fight to be in the life and times of Tyson Fury? Have you even a, an earthly idea of who he might go in with? Do you know what? It's a frustrating one for Tyson Fury, and he's, he's sort of become a victim of his own success, really. And like, he's the main man. We understand that he's the he's the number one out there right now. Yeah, and he's the only one that's really struggling to get this fight on in the summer. I'm hoping Frank can give us some more news. You I hope sniveling that, coward, you've I been hope, equally as critical as I have of Tyson Fury about? and Tyson Fury making no, it difficult. I, yeah, yeah, it, it has been very difficult. But made by Tyson. Well, as, as well as as the as people. Well, not wanting to fight for because they're not accepting the money that they should be accepting. You know, people oh, like okay. let's use let's use Andy Ruiz Jr. who was who was commanding twenty million pounds. What? And that's a Simon, fair example. That's a fair example. That, Simon, let's let's be fair. That is way go, too much money. Post bids, wasn't it? Yeah. Well, the reason I asked the Mail Online in the last few hours, Tyson Fury is no one to fight. He's priced himself out of Usyk, Anthony Joshua, and his other plans. He's already beaten White and Wilder. Zhang Joyce, they're tied up. Reese Jr. wanted 20 million. What a mess. Who can he realistically fight now? Uh, Fury's UK promoter is Frank Warren. And Frank, I think, is a bit aggrieved at some of the publicity that's coming Tyson's way. Frank, good afternoon. Good afternoon, Jim. Good afternoon, Simon. And... Good afternoon, Spence. Hey, Good Frank. afternoon to you. So, Frank, I mean, this this anti-Fury narrative that seems to have built up, do you think it's unfair? Of course it is, and it's ridiculous and it's stupid. Let me just tell you one thing. Harris Tyson priced himself out of a fight when he offered Anthony Joshua 40% for a guy who, if he gets into the number one position and was to fight for the title and went to Persbiz, would get 20%. So explain to me, please, anybody who's got a, a, even a little bit of a brain, how he's priced himself out. Well, Frank, do you think it's a case with Anthony Joshua? We saw him against Jermaine Franklin last time out. He didn't look particularly good. He didn't look anywhere near, you know, the best of his ability. And that's down to his confidence, that his um, lack of confidence in his own ability. He probably feels that he wants to take his own direction, and, and his direction is August the 12th, possibly Dillian White, where he can reinstall some more confidence before going into that big showdown, this you know, this Saudi Arabia thing that we're talking about with the four top fighters in the world. Do you feel that he just feels that timing's not right for him and he wants to, you know, he wants to take his own path? Absolutely, and I agree with what you're saying, Spencer, in every way. But the thing is he needs to say that. Not keep saying that Tyson. Oh, he's fighting in Australia. He's doing this. He's doing that. You know, uh, this is a a, a, no, a nonsense offer. Uh, they know that we got plans. He has no opponent for August at all, and he and, and I have no contract yet, according to his uh, promoters, for a fight yet in Saudi. So at the moment, he has nothing, mm -hmm. and we well, offered something. But but let me finish. But if you're saying, it, but if he's saying he needs to build his confidence, if his training says he shouldn't be fighting him. Good, I understand that. That's what it is. But don't keep on saying but Frank, Tyson's being but, greedy. But Frank, be honest, mate. You know that at this stage that um, Joshua doesn't want to fight Fury. If I asked you honestly, you'd say at this moment in time, he probably doesn't want to fight Fury. So why make it about Joshua then? Why not go on because and you, try and secure other fighters rather than keep bringing Joshua back into the equation? You know in the back of your mind he don't want this fight yet. Well, because we are actually in a commercial business. And the two fights in this country, the big fights that the fans want to see, without any order of preference, is Usyk and Joshua. They're the two fights. And Joshua doesn't want it. Get it? Understand it. But don't keep saying he's ducking him and he's being greedy and he's, he's trying to he, and he's trying to take all the money. He offered him 40% a generous offer. Mm. Frank, how, how likely are we to see this Saudi Arabia thing going on, you know, with, with uh, Tyson Fury um, and Alexander Usyk, Anthony Joshua versus um, Deontay Wilder? I think that Eddie Hearn's been vocal about saying that that fight, they are in talks for that fight to happen. How likely are we to see Fury versus Usyk? Is it is it a reality? Well, nothing's a reality till you get an offer. And we've been talking about this since last year, early last year. There was talked about doing it in December last year. As we know, Usyk uh, was injured. Then they came back to us and said, they made it, actually made us an offer. said, right, if he fights in, in um, if Tyson fights in December, this is the number, but it would be 20% less and we'd do it in February. Well, it didn't happen in February because they weren't ready. It didn't happen on the 29th of April because the stadium isn't ready. And they, they've been up front, uh, Prince Khalid and his team, and said, we cannot do this until uh, December. And when we're in a position to make an offer, we'll make an offer. And we've not had 
any offers whatsoever. And we've said, when you do make the offer, it has to be in writing. And we've never not had an offer. So that's the position. That's the true and honest position. Do, do you think, Frank, and you're a good friend of this show, so we feel I, or I feel I can ask you this um, with quite a degree of fairness and confidence. Do you think Tyson's brought an awful lot of this on himself by these outbursts online that we seem to get on social media? Well, I don't know. I mean, you know, I think you'd probably count on one hand. But the fact of the matter is, and I get where, where I mean, I know Simon's had a thing about this, and I get where, where you know, what he's saying. I understand, partly understand where he's coming from. But you've got to remember, I'm dealing with an athlete, and I'm the guy that's going to, you know, negotiate along with uh, my team, my son George and so forth. We're negotiating to try and get to try and get both the Joshua fight and the Usyk fight at that particular moment. And all Tyson kept saying to me is, what, where is it? And I said, well, it's going to take a couple more days. They t- promised us they'll come back. And and after that, after about, I told him that about four or five times, he then, then started saying, fellas, you've got 48 hours, you've got a week and whatever it is to get this over the line. But you know what? There was no intention to get it over the line because all they're interested in, as most sportsmen are, the golfers, the racing, uh, Formula One, all of them, they're all going to Saudi because Saudi are making it a destination for big sport. They're putting money, they're, they're, they're putting chunk truckload of money up, and that is where both Usyk's head is and AJ's head is. Yeah. And that's why those fights didn't happen. The, so the, he was the, frustrated. But the, but, the issue, but the issue, Frank, isn't really about fighting. Everyone knows there's a tacit acceptance in the back of people's minds, reluctantly, that the Saudi money kind of pollutes everything because unless you fight in Saudi, you don't get paid what you want. So Joshua fighting a Fury in August is a non-starter economically because they're not going to get paid what they want. And certainly Joshua isn't. And he's got different plans. So the issue is, is that Tyson goes off and has his little views about uh, who, what, when, why and how, right? Fights Derek Chisora. We all know that the Saudi deal fell apart for various reasons because it wasn't really an offer at the table, right? So with that in mind, it didn't happen, right? So here we are now, and we're saying, well, when is Tyson going to come out and fight next, right? And whatever Joshua does or doesn't do is kind of irrelevant. It's about what Tyson Fury is going to do. And trying to make trying to square circles by scoring points off one another doesn't seem to make a lot of sense to the boxing well, public because we want to see that. Tyson Fury in a ring with someone like Hergovic or someone like Sanchez or someone like Zhang or someone like Ruiz and not someone like Dempsey McKean. Mm. Well, he's not fighting Dempsey McKean. I don't know where you're getting that from. But these are the ones that get indexed to him. I'm not suggesting he's going to fight him. By who? Not by us. Well, but, but, never, by the, by, never, but Frank, by the vacuum, by, never, by the vacuum that gets never, filled, well, that, was, that was Dempsey I McKean's team, help, wasn't it? Well, Fine. Listen, but you, I can't, I'm not in charge of the internet. I have never spoke about that fight. No one's ever made that. No, but the point I'm making, Frank, fair fair enough, okay, but the point I'm making is if in the absence of a a credible scenario, the vacuum gets filled with nonsense. I'll give you another credible scenario. The name you mentioned, Ruiz, he asked for $20 million to fight Tyson. Mm. Right. So you'll, so, go makes, so you'll go to purse bids then, well, won't you? That makes it a $100 million well, you fight. You can't, you can't sorry, reach that go, sort of go money. Go on, Frank. Stop, stop, stop. You've got to understand how it works. You, see, this is the problem. You just, you, you're talking about knowing what the facts are. The facts are, go and look at the ratings first of all. Number one, number one in the ratings is, is Wilder. Wilder. Yeah. Number two is Ruiz. Correct. WBC, at least three or four months ago, asked that those two boxers confirm that they'll fight in a box off to become a mandatory. Neither of them have made that happen. So at the moment, there is no mandatory position for Tyson. And uh, and the situation with Wilder is Wilder is also looking to go and fight down in Saudi. And he was out there, as you know, uh, when Tommy Fury fought. Yeah. And they're talking about making this fight with him and him and uh, um, okay. Joshua. Right. So that's what they're what they rather than fight for a world title, they, they're going to fight each other. So it's all about the money. We get that. Understand that. So then you go down the list. The one after the one after that is Joshua. He's number three. He don't want the fight. He don't want to fight for the world title. Uh, he's, listen, and he's not a skint merchant, is he? He must have, I would say, a couple of hundred mil in the bank. But he don't want to fight for the glory or for big money because, you, you know, we Let's get it right. There was no Saudi. We'd, they'd all be biting our hand off. True. Where are they going? Agreed. Getting Agreed. And, so, and so Frank, to, I mean... Sorry, it, it, and getting on to, look, sorry, let me just make my point. And getting on to Usyk. Usyk is, as people want, along with the Saudis, one of Persbury. They bid $8 million for that fight. It's going in Poland. Usyk's end of it, 75%, if they're giving him a 75%, is $6 million. So that's his value. That's his true value because it was a Persbury. 
And we did a purse bid last year for Dillian White, who doesn't have three belts, has got losses on his record. He got $8 million because of Tyson Fury's drawing power. Two million more than the, than the guy who's undefeated and has three belts. So that's the value of Usyk. No matter how you want to dress it up, the facts are the facts. Well, let, let's just talk about Tyson, Frank. And you're on live, and a lot of people are reacting to what you're saying. So this is as good a time as any to put it to you. True or false, Tyson will retire at some stage soon. I'm sure he's going to retire one day. I don't know when he's going to retire. Retire when he wants to. Okay. Will Tyson fight again, Frank? Yes, he's fighting in September. He's fighting in September. When will you be able to say with some degree of certainty who it is he's going to step in the ring with? I hope, I hope when we get the contract signed, with, we've got a couple of options there with one of the guys that we are negotiating with and we will announce it in due course. Can you give we're us, gonna, a, can you give us a bunch listen, of names listen, we at the moment? We, no, I'm not, because what we what we keep doing, putting out names and then, then it just doesn't right. happen. But you can say with surety that Tyson will fight in September no matter what? Correct. Okay. In this country or in Saudi? In this country. In this country. Okay. And let me tell you something about Tyson, which really annoys me. And you fans should listen to this. Why do others keep talking about fighting fighting in Saudi? Because that's where they're going to get their big payday. Tyson was willing to fight them, all of them here in the UK. So it wasn't about money. Otherwise, you'd be sitting there waiting for Saudi. He was willing to do those fights over the last four or five months with both of them guys. Well, so, since you're on, we may as well listen to what Eddie Heron said yesterday on Tyson. Have a listen, Frank. He's already priced himself. I mean, that, that's what happened initially. You know, he came in with a number that was ridiculous. Yep. Then he came back with another number. And then by then, it was just too late. So now he's kind of in no man's land. I mean, look, they've reached out for us to do the AJ fight. We loved that fight. Yep. But when I speak to Anthony Joshua, who's got a plan to fight August 12th in London, and then Deontay Wilder in December... And I say, you've got to scrap those two fights because Tyson Fury's come on Instagram and said he wants to fight you. Honestly, the belief level is zero. But we can't just put it to the side. And, and you know, Fury needs to fight. Like, he's, you know, he's not in great shape at the moment, not physically, but in his position because he doesn't want to wait till December. Yeah. So he needs to fight in September. And there's no one to fight. You know, he just fought Chisora. So now, like, the public are saying, we don't, you've got to fight someone of note. And of note is mm -hmm. Usyk, which he's fighting Dubois. AJ, that's fighting August 12th. Now, listen, if the Saudi opportunity goes away, then we'll definitely look at a Tyson Fury fight in September, mm -hmm. straight into the bat. But right now, he's focused on August 12th. He's been in camp for a couple of weeks. He's in Dallas. You know, he's focused. So does Heron have a point then, Frank? Well, first of all, who's he fighting in August? <clears throat> Likely Dillian White, I, I would say. So he's going to fight the guy that Tyson absolutely destroyed last April and rather than fight Tyson for the world title for 40% of the money. Or if he don't fight Dillian White, why is he going to fight um, Hergovic, who's in their camp? I doubt it. So they're probably, as we're talking, probably trying to find someone who's got a little bit of a pulse to, and then come out of a story why, the, why, why, why he's fighting someone. He doesn't want to fight. He's terrible. And he's talking rubbish. Let me just tell you something. We did that. When we, when we made this offer to them, George, we sent him a, a written offer. Didn't do it through the media, made a written offer to him. They ca he came back, Eddie Hearn, to George and said, we'll speak to you in a couple of days. Irrespective of that, George went off and dealt directly with uh, um, Freddie Cunningham, who's, his, who's the 258, his manager. And Freddie Cunningham said he doesn't want to fight him. He wants the big money in Saudi. And I get that. And he's not the only sportsman that's saying that. They're all doing it. They're all doing it. They're all going for it. But that's the real reason he doesn't want to fight that's the reason. They, 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 if they were fighting men, and they're not skimp members, they've got money. If they were fighting men, they would take the fight in this country. If it was about money, Tyson would be sitting there waiting for this okay. offer. And so, 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 Frank, are you in a position next week to come on and confirm who Tyson will fight in September? I'll come on next week and tell you he's fighting again in September. And if we got the contract signed, I'll tell you he is. Top man. <laughs> Good man. Frank Warren, thanks as always. Fury fights in September and pretty soon we'll know who. Jim White and Simon Jordan. Monday to Friday mornings from 10 on AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.